Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today I, I want to show about how to construct the pair of table. So let's say we have a problem based on tutorial part 1 under decision theory. So dia kata the manager of the electrical um, shop has to decide how many equip star to be ordered at the beginning of each month. So automatically this is our decision or alternative. Okay, and then we have the demand for equip star projected to be either 10, 15 or 20 units per month with the probability value of 0 0.35, 0 0.4 and 0 0.25. Since demand is uncertain, so demand will be our state of nature. Okay, or sun state of nature and then each unit cost RM200 and the selling price is RM350 so there is an, uh, another information then ok look at A construct the pair of table for this problem ok let's say I change the color to blue ok yeah, so kita nak focus on uh, A construct the pair of so now Okay. Kita come out dengan satu table So we have alternative and sun or state of nature And then our sun is represented by demand value So demand will be projected either 10 unit, 15 unit or 20 unit So this is our demand And then in term of alternative How many we want to decide is um, equivalent to supply so either we supply 10 unit or supply 15 unit or we supply 20 unit and then we put the value of probability ok probability for demand so we have 0 0.35 0 0.40 and 0 0.25 Okay, in order to calculate the pair of value or as we know, pair of represent the profit value. Okay, profit value. So, in order to calculate profit, so profit equal to selling price time quantity minus cost time quantity. Okay, so this is our um, equation in order to calculate the pair of value or profit value. So, in this case, let's say based on alternative 1, okay, you want to uh, calculate pair of value if you supply 10 unit and your demand also 10 unit. So, let's say profit 1. So, kita akan dapat uh, 350 times 10 minus 200 times 10. So, kita dapat the first value of payoff is 1,500. 1, okay, so in this case, 1,500. Okay, second condition, you still want to supply 10 unit but now your demand is 15. Meaning that, you only manage to supply uh, 10 units in order to meet demand for 10 units. So, there will be another 5 units that you are not uh, fulfill the demand. So, in this case, the value of profit still remain unchanged. So, 1500 and the last one also 1500. Okay, second alternative. Right now, we want to supply 15 unit ok in uh, for first demand demand is only 10 units so meaning that for uh, our profit under second alternative we, ha we have 350 times 10 because of we only manage to serve, uh, to serve demand 10 unit minus cost cost time what we uh, can supply which is 15 unit so the value of pair off will be only RM15 
500. So we put 500 in the table. And then second condition, um, your supply value is 15 and your demand also 15. So we have the profit value 350 times 15 minus 200 times 15. So the payoff will be RM 2250. Fifty, so two two five zero, or uh, and then the next one also remain unchanged. Okay, the next alternative, the third one alternative when you supply twenty units. Okay, so it's like my term second uh, decision tadi. You are the fifteen, but your demand is ten. But now you are the twenty, your demand only ten unit. Okay, so profit equal to 350 times 10 minus 200 times 20. So, our pair of value will be negative RM500. Okay, so we put negative 500. Okay, next one is our profit number 5. 350 times 15 demand minus 200 times 20. So, kita dapat RM1250. So, 1250. And the last one. For last profit, 350. You supply ataupun your demand is 20 minus dengan cost time supply is also 20. It become RM3000. Okay. So, we put 3000. Okay. And then. So, this is our pair of value. Let's say we continue with the uh, next question. Okay, the next question asks us on to determine the best alternative using expected monetary value. So, in this case, I suggest to add another column to represent the EMV value. Okay, so EMV how to calculate EMV, pair of time respective probability value under first sign plus second pair of time second probability value of second sign and the last pair of time the last probability value of last sign. So, in this case, kita dapat let's say for EMV uh, alternative uh, 10 or we supply 10 it become 1500 times 0 0.35 plus 1500 times 0 0.4 plus 1500 times 0 0.25 so in this case remain unchanged is RM1500 okay for second alternative supply 15 unit so in this case 500 times 0 0.35 plus 2250 times 0 0.4 and the last one is 2250 times 0 0.25 so equal to RM 1637.50 and the last EMV value for 20 equal to negative 500 times 0 0.35 plus 1250 times 0 0.4 and 3000 times 0 0.25 so the EMV value is RM1075 so insert all the necessary uh, value under table Okay, in the table. So, 1500 and then we have 1637.5 and the last one is 1075. Okay, so based on uh, EMV value, the best decision is to choose the highest EMV. So, in this case, the highest will be 1637.5. Uh, so, our decision based on EMV value, okay, so our decision will be based on EMV decision, uh, supply 15 units of equip star. 
Ok, thank you for today. So, today kita dah cover on construct pair of table and also uh, decide decision based on EMV criteria. Ok, thank you. Assalamualaikum.